Hi, I'm Jo, and um, I've just watched your video. Um, actually, Andrew's video was sent to me, and I watched Andrew's video, and um, then I thought I might as well go and watch the videos that it was attached to. And Alex, I think your name is. I'm terrible. Um, <laughs> I uh, watched your video and I thought I'd do a response to you too and uh, let me show you again my, my my subscribers will be sick of this this is a photograph of my nephew he is six years old in a couple of weeks um, a couple of weeks, a bit longer than a couple of weeks actually about a month the 25th of July he will be six and he was diagnosed with Asperger's spectrum uh, autistic spectrum disorder was suspected when he was one and a half um, I went to a specialist school because of my eyesight and um, there were autistic children at my school and I would have said I knew a fair bit about autism and aspect or autistic spectrum disorders um, including Asperger's but I actually have to say that I've never had anyone describe it so simply and um, I'm going to my sister's in July and for my nephew's birthday and I am going to show her your video I've added it to my favourites because I think it will help her to understand more she understands and she makes a real big effort with Daniel and she is brilliant with him he is a well adjusted child um, he is learning to interact with other children his best friend is eight um, Lewis seems to cope with his autism whereas a lot of the other kids at school don't and he's been picked on and stuff like that not so, oh, I don't know, not so much picked on but he's had a hard time in school and he gets quite upset about school and listening to the way you described what Asperger's is like for you I can see how things that my nephew does or says or, be or the way he behaves relates to that I can see how half of that is his six year old self and half of that is his autistic self um, and the way you describe it with um, two personalities I think that might help my sister also in understanding me I have a mental health condition which is called dissociative identity disorder and I have many personalities all of which are individual but like you I can relate to and understand the mature adult world but at times I can't I am uh, I am a child and I my understanding is a child my behavior is a child um, feel free to look through my videos you will see my different personalities you will see the amount of toys I own which um, a lot of women in their 30s I'm making myself older a lot of women in their 30s wouldn't own up to have him um, and I just really wanted to say thank you thank you for telling me something that I knew but didn't know for making it easier to understand I myself and my nephew we seem to have a link 
he understands me and he 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 will show me things that he won't explain to his mum, my sister, because he accepts that I can't see and so don't always understand. Whereas mummy, she can see, so she must understand. Um, but I'm going to show her your video because I think it might help her to see how he sees the world. Because I think that's one thing she would really like to understand better. What the world's like from his side. And uh, yes, I understand that the way he sees it is probably going to be different from your you. But at the same time, from what you've said, I think a lot of it he will accept. A lot of it is similar. Um, and I took on board what you said about reading. And... Uh, that's why I thought I'd do a video response. Um, Daniel finds it hard to read, but if he's if the words have been where sorry I've bashed the microphone that's going to make a bit of a noise. If the words are on something that has a picture, he's always picked those up quicker. And so your um, analogy of the puzzle pieces and the puzzle on the table was very good um, I'm going to leave it at that and just again say thank you thanks <laughs>